If you're building apps or experimenting with it in 2025, you have to start thinking about making your app ready for AI agents to interact with it. The superpower you need to add to your application is MCP. But that might sound scary and technical. But don't worry. Let me show you how easy it is to add MCP superpowers to your application with the help of this brand new functionality in Data Button. Hey everyone, in our last video we explored how to connect Claude to Snowflake using MCP, making it possible to have natural conversations with your data. Today we're building on that idea, but instead of connecting to a database, we'll look at how to make your own application accessible to Claude and other large language models. I got early access to their latest update, which makes it super easy to add MCP capabilities to your existing data button app. From my perspective, what sets DataButton apart from other no-code builders like Lovable or Bolt is the guided step-by-step -step approach. Instead of trying to generate everything from one massive prompt, it walks you through each part of the build process, making it ideal for non-programmers or anyone who wants more control. But now let's talk about the really exciting part, the new MCP server functionality. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol, and it allows you to expose your app's tools and APIs to AI agents like Claude. If you're not really sure about MCP, don't worry, we made a whole video that breaks it down in simple visual terms. You can check that out, there's a link in the description below. But here's the quick version. We have these incredibly powerful AI systems like Claude and ChatGPT, and they're like super intelligent brains that understand and generate human language. But on their own, they don't have access to your real-world data, tools, or applications. And MCP is really the bridge that connects those brains to your world. It's like giving Claude eyes to see your database and hands to use your tools. And now, thanks to DataButton, we can give Claude access to our own custom-built applications as well. So you're not just talking to an AI anymore, you're letting it do things, powered by your own logic and data. So here's the simple steps to get started with DataButton and MCP. First, you need to build your app in DataButton. Here you create your backend functions, store data, define any logic that you want to expose. And you can, of course, use the AI to assist you on doing all of that. Then once you have your app up and running, you simply have to enable MCP in the application settings. Now, keep in mind that I got early access to this, so some of these things might change, and I've already suggested that they should have a big button saying add MCP superpowers to my application. So now your agent can interact with your app, like adding a task, reading data, or triggering automations in real time. With this, you're not just building an app, you're creating an AI usable interface that lives in your personal agent ecosystem. <laughs> So I already built a basic to-do app in DataButton, and it includes functionality to add new tasks, list today's tasks, and mark tasks as complete, all powered by this simple Python backend and a clean user interface. Now let's turn this into an MCP-enabled application so that an AI agent like Claude can interact with it directly. So inside your DataButton application, head over to the settings and under production, you'll see this button called Enable MCP. This will generate an API key and makes all of my app's backend functionality available as tools via the MCP protocol. Next, you need to deploy the application as usual. Once deployed, all of these API tools are part of a live hosted MCP server. Now, in order to make use of our MCP server in Claude, we need to open up Claude Desktop and uh, go to the settings file. Here, we'll add our data button app using the generated MCP key. If you're struggling with any of this, check out this video where we walk you through step-by-step -step how to get started with Claude and MCP. So after you restart Claude, you should see this hammer symbol showing that there are tools connected, which means that Claude can now interact with my to-do list app. So let's take it for a spin. Here's what I can do now that our MCP is live. Let's start with something simple. What's on my to-do list today? Now Claude runs the MCP tool call against our application and returns my list of tasks. You can also say, for instance, add a reminder to pick up groceries tomorrow. And Claude adds this task to my list. We can also ask Claude to mark my tasks as done, and maybe we can ask it to suggest tasks based on whatever we're working on. It's like having your own AI-powered assistant actually interacting with your tools, not just giving you suggestions. 
This is just a very simple example, but imagine any application you've built and letting Claude interact with it just like you would as a human being, getting information and doing stuff on your behalf. So why is this such a big deal? Because it means you can now extend the AI with your own tools. Instead of waiting for AI to learn new capabilities, you can build and plug them in yourself. So to recap, DataButton lets you build AI-powered web apps without needing to write full stack code. With the MCP server enabled, those apps becomes usable tools for AI agents like Claude. I used it to turn a simple to-do app into a smart assistant that can create, check, and manage tasks through natural language automatically. So it's still early days for MCP, and I haven't gotten the chance to try out more advanced cases with DataButton yet. There are some limitations in terms of how you can configure and control the MCP server functionality, but for most non-coders, this should be a great starting point. For the more advanced use cases, you probably want full control and you'll likely be downloading the code from DataButton and continue your development in, for instance, Cursor. Whether you're building internal tools, automating your daily workflow, or just exploring what's possible with AI, this combination of DataButton and MCP is a serious unlock for a lot of cases. If you want to try out DataButton yourself, there's a promo code in the description that gives you a discount, so make sure you use that. If you got value from this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.